Okay guys, so today I'm going to talk to you about the follicular phase. Now this is literally the phase that starts the day after your period ends. You can actually compare the follicular phase to the season of spring because estrogen dominate, dominates most of this phase, especially during the end. And it gives our follicles and our endometrial lining enough energy to actually grow. Here's the time. They're going to tap into your creative energy. You're going to schedule important events and appointments. Uh, it's also the time where you feel more confident and you'll feel more like yourself, you know. You'll be more inclined to being social. Uh, you'll feel like getting out a lot more compared to all the other phases. It's also the best time to actually start a new diet or any sort of ritual or regime. Uh, also because your sugar cravings won't be that strong. So if you see a piece of cake, you can actually say no very easily during this phase. Uh, closer to your period, you know it becomes really hard, right? Anyway, the next few days during your follicular phase are great even for your workouts because you won't feel the need to push yourself too much. You'll go more naturally. I think it's also because you're sleeping really well around this phase. Basically, this is the time you're upbeat, you're positive, you're basically feeling super alive. A lot like how you feel during spring, you know. Now, eating foods which actually metabolize estrogen would be ideal here. There are two amino acids, lysine and threonine, which actually support your liver. The reason I'm talking about your liver is because liver is where most of your estrogen metabolism takes place. Now, lysine and threonine is found in fish, in navy beans, in eggs, uh, sunflower seeds and flax seeds have it as well. Also, methi or fenugreek. Now, here's where you're also going to optimize your carb intake. Now, when I say that, I don't mean go low, but go slow. So, get it from cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, even sauerkraut. The previous ones, you're going to make sure you cook them really well if you're struggling with gut issues. Now, why all of these things? Because they have a compound called DIM, which actually helps in the metabolization of estrogen from the correct pathway. For the geeks, I'm posting about the pathway down, uh, but I'm not going to bore you, bore you other guys with it. So that is literally... Uh... Now, all these foods are also uh, like the fuel for your good microbiome called estrobilome. I've spoken a lot about this. Now, estrobilome metabolizes estrogen. So again, having all of these foods would be ideal. Follicular phase is your spring phase where you feel amazing, you meet lots of people, you socialize a lot more, you do a whole lot of creative work, you eat sesame seeds, a lot of methi, and remember to go slow carb. If you have more questions, post them below. I'd love to answer those.